Hey guys, it's Nicole here back on this Monday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. I know I took a teeny tiny little break from YouTube. Not a huge break, of course. Um, yes, I'm still recovering from my Janet Jackson concert experience Saturday night. Yes, that woman brought down the house. I enjoyed it. I'm still on a high and I'm still trying to come down from it. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back. So, of course, I had to talk about this. Major shout outs to Mr. Colin Kaepernick for receiving the GQ honor, a citizen of the year. And of course, with that honor came all the trailer apes. Now, you know, the minute they saw that cover, that GQ cover that had a Black Panther, Black Power, man, phenomenal cover, okay? And it's simple, yet it says so much. And all the trailer apes, oh my goodness, they couldn't stop, okay? They're all on social media. And I noticed with a lot of these uh, news uh stations and whatnot, local news stations, all of them were saying the same thing. They have the question of the day. Do you agree with Colin Kaepernick being named the citizen of the year by GQ? It's like they were all saying this as to say, what the hell is this? Do you guys really agree with this too? I mean, the agenda is so obvious. So you have this trailer ape um, transvestite looking pasty wannabe Barbie white supremacist who used to work for ESPN and she doesn't work with them anymore. She's fired. Her name is, let me see, what's her name again? Britt McHenry, a nobody of course, but apparently she chimped out and went off on her Twitter. Okay. And this isn't the first time she's attacked Colin Kaepernick, okay? Um, this trailer ape knows nothing else. She wants to be the next Tommy Lauren, I guess. So I guess since she didn't work out with ESPN, she's auditioning for a spot on Fox Clan. Okay, so here are some of the tweets that she left. J.J. Watt raised $37 million for Hurricane Harvey victims. 37 million, but Kaepernick refused to stand for our national anthem a year ago and is citizen of the year, right? Wear socks depicting police officers as pigs. Wear Fidel Castro as a fashion statement in Miami. Sue NFL for collusion when girlfriend compares owners to slave owners. Win citizen of the year. Serve in the U.S. military. Nothing. What a joke, GQ. This bitch sounds so fucking retarded, okay? Bitch, nobody gives a rat's ass, okay? Nobody cares about you and your trailer apes crying on social media. GQ wanted to name him Citizen of the Year. That's their right. You don't like it? Kick rocks, bitch. Nobody gives a damn, okay? You fake ass, transgender wannabe, transvestite bitch you, okay? I I'm so tired of these trailer apes. They have nothing else better to do. See, these racist white supremacist devils here, they hate the fact that Colin Kaepernick called their asses out and at the same time is bringing the NFL to its pathetic, rotten, racist knees. And they just, they don't know what to do with themselves. So anything that Colin Kaepernick is honored with he receives, like with the book deal that's coming up. I mean, the hate is so real and I love it. I love it. I hope we can keep giving major kudos to this man just to piss them off. I don't give a damn what you think about Colin Kaepernick. I don't care if you think, well, we, we need to wait and see. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? No. The fact that he's out here pissing off these trailer apes, that's enough for me. I love it. I, hey, I, I, I want to give him a, a damn award myself, okay? Just to 
fucking piss them off. Okay, I live for it. I love it. Colin Kaepernick deserves this. Colin Kaepernick has been out there calling out these devils and doing what he has to do to bring light to terrorism. Okay, state sanctioned terrorism. And he has every single right to do what he's doing. And I will always tip my hat to him. Okay, I love it. He's out there doing what he's supposed to be doing, not cooning out, not being a traitor, not doing anything else, but standing up for his people and in the process, giving back to his community. And see, these devils don't want to see that. They don't want to see this replicated all throughout the NFL or all throughout um, the sports teams and hell, even if it touches in Hollywood, which I highly doubt it. But even if it just had a ripple effect and started waking up so many more of the so-called entertainers or so-called folks who are, you know, in politics or whatever, Colin Kaepernick is well deserving of this award, award and many others, okay? Don't get it twisted. These trailer apes are exactly like their ancestors, the same ancestors who were holding signs in the streets when black people were civilly protesting against white supremacy. The exact same folks, okay? We all have seen the old stock footage of the devils spitting on black people as they did sit-ins um, at restaurants, at diners. These are the exact same trailer apes who come from that. This is all they know, but we're in the 21st century. And instead of doing that, all they have to do now is get on their social media and um, bark and chimp out over Colin Kaepernick. Okay, Colin Kaepernick hasn't done a damn thing to anybody, but constitutionally express his feelings about this country. And they can't take it. And I love it. I love every single minute of it. Every single minute of it. Okay? So, yes. I'm very happy for him. He deserves it. Plus much more. And I am so interested as to how this um, lawsuit against the NFL is going to play out. I am remaining hopeful that it's for the best. And it will continue to expose these devils at any chance they get. And I wish him all the best. Because Colin Kaepernick could have just said, you know what? I need to watch out for me. I need to watch my money. And I'm just going to stay quiet. Or I'm just going to coon out and just forget all of this. Play football and be a court jester. But no, something in him said, you know, I, I can't take this anymore. Just like many of us out here who saw the killings, who saw just the injustice that was happening. And Colin, just his conscience couldn't take it anymore. Okay? He couldn't take it. Like all of us couldn't take it. Something had to be done. Something had to be said about it. And this is what he's doing making some type of change, even if it's not some, you know, uh, changing laws and all that good stuff, even if it doesn't translate into that. The fact that this man has went out here and did this, created programs to try to awaken our young children, to me is the ripple effect. And it can eventually get to that point where we can change things in this damnation. But, you know, <laughs> when I get online and I see the comments about this, especially from these trailer apes, it lets you know that this is good old America. America. It's just one sick, twisted, sad place. And it runs deep. And you would think with each passing generation, you'd think it'd be getting better. But of course, no. No. Not at all. 
But anyway, I just wanted to say that I am um, excited for our brother. The layout looks amazing. I plan on purchasing a copy, as we all should, just to show our support. Um, and shout out to GQ. GQ at times can be slept on. Okay, sometimes they have some really interesting articles. Okay, and um, yeah, I say kudos to them as well and thank them for doing this. Just to make the trailer apes mad <laughs> makes my day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think about this, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.